Hello, BookTube. I thought I'd do something a little different today. Um, instead of books, I thought I'd take a look at a few uh, magazines. Um, I guess you could call them collectible now. Uh, I've had them since they first came out. Um, yeah, let's take a look at them. So this here is the premier issue of Louis L'Amour's Western Magazine. Now, you can tell how old it is because it was $2.95. I don't know what you can buy for that amount now. Um, I've always been a big Louis L'Amour fan. Um, let's see. Louis L'Amour Western Magazine, Volume 1, Number 1, Premier Issue. Published bi-monthly by Dell Magazines, a division of Bantam Doubleday Dell. Um, this is not how you maintain magazines, by having a cat knock them over. But they like to get to the window to see if there's anything outside that they can destroy. So this would have come out in 1993. I love the ads. I mean, like most ads, they're focused to the readership, or hopefully so. A little collection of uh, Time Life books, Gunsmoke, for those of you who remember that. Ah, here's another one. Ten compact discs for the price of one, and then one is crossed out in half. Also available on cassette. I like to see what uh, Tony Braxton, um, Nirvana, uh, then you get some of uh, Sex Pistols, Elton John, Greatest Hits, 76 to 86. Yeah. So I, the, the mag, old magazines can be fun. Um, there you go. So, um, at least I just can't go, I keep going for the ads. The Return to Lonesome Dove. So, like I say, I'm, I'm a fan of Louis L'Amour. Uh, I like to sit down and pick up his books. A lot of times I've reread the books. Um, so when the magazine came out, of course it was very exciting. Um, it didn't last long. I mean, I don't, I don't know how long it did last, but I... I I don't think it lasts very long. Uh, this one, premier issue has a guest or editorial by uh, Bo Lamore, um, one of Louis Lamore's kids. Um, it has Philip Pronzoni's uh, Brigade's Crossing. Uh, it's a Quinn Cannon story. Here's another ad for collecting badges of the Old West. Let's see who else we have here for. I I like Steins and that one's pretty neat. It's a rodeo. Let's see who else we have for. The Queen Gannon story is uh, pretty good, pretty long. It's a ga an ad for a gambler's pistol. These are audio books, Louis Lamore audio books. So Wynn Blevins has uh, Miss Shosh uh, Shoshone. Uh, let me just read the table of contents give you an idea on some of these. Uh, Ray Dorr has The Prospector and the Prostitute. And then uh, Clark Howard has the showdown at uh, Carson City. For a classic Western story, they have The Shaming of Broken Horn by Bill Gullick. Um, travel, uh, Tony Hillerman does Our Own Holy Land. And for Frontier Profiles, Meriwether Lewis, Murder or Suicide by Hugh McCord. And then an interview with, uh, with John Jakes. Um, he was all the rage, um, uh, when he did, I, I can't remember the name of it. It came out around the Bicentennial, uh, 
the first one was the bastards uh or the bastard it, it was like an early american uh, historical novels there's a whole series of them you see them around all the time so, let's say we were going to take a look at, let's say, page 91. Let's see what Mr. Tony Hillman had to say. All right. Oh, well, yeah. Look at that. Of course, we all know Tony Hillman's uh, mysteries. Um, I mean, his connection with the, the Navajo and New Mexico and all that. So that was the premier issue, and then uh, May 1994 issue, I really like that cover. What do we get on the back here? Some art, Philip Crow, and this one's Bull Rider. So in this this one we have for short stories we have Spoils of War by Max McCoy, One Man's Word by Preston Lewis, Joshua's Decision by Ray Dorr, Two Women of the Prairie by Steve Utley, On Patrol by J. Bird Collins, Doc Christmas, Painless Dentist, Bill Pronzoni again, Classic Western Story we have, we have A Season for Heroes by Carla Kelly, Editor's Notes by Alana Lore. Frontier um, profiles the shootout at Ingalls. Um, Travel, a circle of history by Don Gold Coldsmith. Um, I think he did like the uh, uh, Western stories about trails. If I may be wrong about that. Um, and then uh, the interviews with a conversation with Elmore Leonard by Dale L. Walker. Uh, Elmore Leonard wrote some great westerns in the and somebody collected them once. Here's a here's a nice piece of them there. Oh, look at this. The classic Clint. So, uh, let's see if we get anything that stands out here. My, I think I'm losing the light bulb up there, so I'm going to get up there and change that. It keeps flickering. Oh, here's the season of Heroes by Coldsmith. Let's see if they say anything. Oh, that's the page. In July 1994, you have, for short stories, The Rookie Rustlers by Riley Fro, Water by W.M. Shockley, Terror Beneath Dragon Peak by Ray Dorr, The Train to Victoria by C.F. Eckhart, Dragon Wells by Jeremiah Healy, and The Cloud Cracker, another Bill Pronzoni. It's actually pronounced Pronzini, I believe. Okay. Um, for classic Western story, you have Gun Job by Thomas Thompson. Um, for Frontier Profile, you have The Reno Brothers, the world's first train robbers by Ditch Stodgehill. Travel, you have uh, Wyatt Earp Country by Jane Candia Coleman. And then for the interview, you have a conversation with Elmer Kelton by Dale L. Walker, Elmer Kelton being the fellow from Texas. Um, then for the January 1995, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Look at these outfits. That was great. Let's see. For short stories, Pursuit from Tabletop by Robert P. Jordan, Accidental Bad Man by Teddy Keller, Charity by Sandra Whiting, Bust Out by W.M. Shockley, The Hog Lot Shooting by Ellen uh, Gray Massey, The Cat King of Cochise County by Lauren D. Esselman, a writer I really enjoy, 
homemade Christmas present by uh, T. Jeff Carr. Now, classic Western story, they have War by Jack London. Um, for a frontier profile, The Strange Life of Boston Corbett by Hume Accord. Travel of Deadwood in the Black Hills by Jane Candia Coleman. And then uh, for the interview, they have a conversation with D. Brown um, by Dale Walker. So let's take a look at that one. First, D. Brown. There's D. Brown right there. A lot of you recognize him. So um, let's see. Let's list some of D. Brown's books. You'll recognize some of them, I'm sure. Um, Fighting Indians of the West. The Settlers West, Trail Driving Days, The Gentle Tamers, The Women of the West, The Year of the Century, 1876, uh, Fort Phil Kearney, Showdowns at Little Bighorn, The Galvanized Yankees, Grierson's Raid, The Bold Cavaliers, Hear That Lonesome Whistle Blow, The Westerners, and of course, the legendary Bury My Heart at Wounded Knee. Um... You can buy these VHSs. Probably not many of them working anymore. Alright. The Strange Life of Boston Corbett. Right across the page from a picture of Jack London. Let's see. So, Ellen Gray Massey's uh, The Hog. The Hog Lot Shootout, right there. Then my final one here uh, is January 96. Take a look at that. I've got to have a picture of the dude. Yeah, Roy Rogers Winchester Tribute. There we go. Alright, let's see. Oh, I like to say it's for a Louis L'Amour book. Paperback. Alright, for short stories, The Great Whorehouse Heist by Riley Fro. Are You Coming Back, Finn Montana? by Jane, uh, Jane Candia Coleman. The Case of the Santa Claus Hitchhiker by Lee Somerville. The Train Robbers by C.F. Eckhart. The Preacher Man by Robert P. Jordan. And Strays by uh, Gene Kokeko. Oh, just a little tough. Classroom, classic Western story is In the Silence by Peggy S. Curry. Um, Frontier Pro Profile is Geronimo by Griffin Oliver. Travels Virginia City by Hugh McCord. And then the uh, interview is a conversation with Jane Candia Coleman by Dale L. Walker. Okay. So let's see what we got here. There's a picture of Mark Twain. Down by my thumb there. That's Virginia City. So, you know, uh, here's uh, Robert P. Jordan's The uh, Preacher Man. So, I mean, they're fun. I've, I've kept them. And uh, I pick them up every now and then and look at them, enjoy them. I still read. I need to relax. I'll grab a Louis L'Amour novel. Some of them I don't even know how many times we've read them. So uh, we'll, we'll look at them in the future. Thank you, BookTube.